Smurfs were a widely popular Hanna-Barbera children's cartoon in the 80s. As a result, there would be quite a few video games based off the series throughout the years. The first one was released in 1982 for the Atari 2600 and ColecoVision. This video focuses on the Atari version. It's entitled Smurf, Rescue in Gargamel's Castle. You'll control a nameless Smurf who has to Smurf through several screens, Smurfing over various obstacles, and attempt to rescue the Smurf-napped broad Smurfette. Aside from the obstacles, your other hazard is the timer, which is represented by an energy bar, so you can't be dilly-dallying around. Jumping is weird. You move the joystick up once for a small jump, and then again immediately after to jump higher and forward to get over shit. Your first time through the cycle is ridiculously easy. Jump over a fence, then a river, then some steps, then a cave with a spider hanging off its web, then the river again, and then you simply hop a few platforms and BAM, you've rescued Smurfette. But on the next go around, you get some enemies to deal with on each screen. A crow on the fence and staircase screens, a snake on the river screen, and a bat on the final screen. These enemies get faster each round to make it more challenging. And for some reason you have to repeat each screen one at a time, and then that increases exponentially each time. In other words, once you get past the fence and the crow, you have to face the fence and the crow for a second time in a row. And then the snake and the river twice, the stairs and the crow twice, etc. But then the next time around, you have to fucking face them three times. And then four. It gets pretty annoying. Thank God it stops out to four. The graphics and animation are really good for Atari. And the background music, while repetitive, is also done well. And it also changes to a darker, more gritty version of the song when you enter the cave. Staying in sync with the happy version when you enter and exit the screen. The fact that your only defense against enemies is to jump over them and run is a good anti-violence message to kids, but it also teaches your kid to be a pussy and not stand up for themselves when they're being attacked. Plus, some of the fun factor level is drained because of this. You should at least be able to jump onto them and kill them. Smurf may not be the fastest paced game in the world, and it's definitely not for everyone, but if you want to test your jump timing skills, then this is a good choice. La, 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 la,